In this video I'm going to be uh, demonstrating how to make a biscuit joint using the biscuit jointer. Uh, this is a biscuit jointer. It's been set to uh, cut 20 mil biscuit slots. You can see here the blade as it comes out. A 20 mil biscuit uh, cut is made by this machine. We always need to wear safety protective equipment when we're uh, using the biscuit joiner. In this case, uh, personal protective equipment, safety eyewear. It's important that we use those when we're using the biscuit joiner. Other tools we're going to use in uh, the construction of this joint are the tri-square, which is set to 90 degrees, the carpenter's pencil, which is a nice sharp chisel point there, giving us a nice fine line. These are the biscuits that we use. We cut slots for these biscuits and create our biscuit joint. A biscuit joint is a widening joint. We call it a widening joint because it allows us to make uh, wide boards for things like tabletops, etc. We line an, uh, up a biscuit like so. We make sure we're in from the edge, about 20 millimeters, so that we don't cut a slot through the edge. About 20 mil in from the edge. We're just going to mark the center of that biscuit there. And then using our tri-square, we'll continue that mark right through the three boards that we're joining here. We're going to make another mark in the center, approximately in the center. And then again, another biscuit, center of the biscuit, about 20 millimeters in from the edge. Um, that's the edge of the biscuit. Now I'll put some arrows on these marks to designate where the jo uh, boards join. It's important to try and work quickly when we're using the biscuit joiner. That's the um, idea with the tool. It's uh, meant to speed up the process of joining. So we very quick with it. Now we'll just ready ourselves with the tool. I'm using my um, bench hook there as a brace to put the timber against. So I can bring my uh, biscuit joiner into position now. Lining it up, you can see how I line up the center mark on the biscuit joiner with the mark that I've created on the wood. lined up there quite accurately. Now I'll just go ahead and I'll cut my um, uh, series of biscuit joints. I have to keep the front of the machine held down. I start the machine, I line up my second biscuit joint, I plunge the machine in, switch it off, move the timber, line up the third cut, hold the machine, switch it on, plunge it in, to make my slots. Just clear that out of the way there. Just make sure you've got a nice clear work surface. Now I'm going to do my middle board. I have to cut slots on both sides of this. The arrows tell me where I'm cutting the slots. It's important that um, these arrows are marked on the timber. And I'll just go through and repeat that process there. Cutting a slot, lining up the biscuit joint with the, the biscuit jointing machine with each of the uh, marks that I've made. Now I'll just swing that piece of wood around and uh, I'll repeat the process down the other side for my center piece uh, of timber in this three board widening joint that I'm creating here. And I've cut those out now and I'll go to my last board. And again, I'm lining it up with the marks that I've made. I plunge the, uh, the biscuit jointer in, cutting my slots keeping the um, machine aligned with the marks on the timber. And now, now all my slots are completed. I'll just line it back up again. This is where the arrows are handy. Just being sure that the boards are in the same configuration. And these are my biscuits. I'll just drop them into the slots. Now normally we'd be filling these slots with glue and putting um, glue on the shoulders of the uh, boards as well. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll just leave them without glue. There they are lined up, three biscuits. Now we'll just bring those bits of wood together, lining up again. Our lines should all um, be continuous. We'll just give them a tap down there that way to bring the joints together and then another tap on the ends to align the board. 